Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, I would like to welcome you all, my dear vascular uh, colleague, to um, a course which is a virtual duplex course. We have here on site uh, one of my very dear colleagues, very um, eminent vascular surgeon. We are going to have one hour to know how to do duplex scan and after this lecture, one hour will do the duplex scan itself. I will start by mentioning a little bit about this course. This course is intended to learn vascular surgeon to learn the skills of how to do duplex scan. It's a vital skills in your career. Learn how to use duplex in your practice. With the new machine, you can put scan in your pocket it will definitely affect your practice. How to get the basic knowledge? A lot of vascular surgeons, when they see machine with a lot of buttons, they get afraid and they get worried. And that is why we need to cut this fear in order for you to have the ability to uh, know your machine and to be able to use it very well. Um, well as just uh, continue with the machine. This is called the TOT course. What TOT means or train the trainer. This means that we are able to let you not just to, to know how to do duplex scan, but in the future you will be the one that will teach others to do uh, uh, duplex scan. So we are training the candidate here, the four that we have here on site and the multiple that we have online, how to teach vascular duplex scan, not just how to do duplex scan. Uh, and this is very important for the TOT course. Uh, TOT based on this Bloom's taxonomy, which means that the basic level, uh, I will let you know how you remember the information, maybe a little bit understand the information, but I will also teach you how to apply the information, analyze the information, evaluate, and then hopefully create. So a lot of people can have duplex scan, but they don't know what they are looking at and how to look at. And this is Bloom's taxonomy. So hopefully we will be able to put you in the upper two category in the evaluate, create, rather than remember. And this is the basic of TOT. Now, the old system, we all are surgeons. We have been told when we were young that you see one, you do one, and you teach one. This is the old system. It is not right anymore. What we want in this course for you to not to see one, do one, teach one, but I want you to learn how it is being done, to practice. After one hour, you will do duplex scan yourself, how to deal with duplex machine, how to write the report, and how to teach others how to do duplex scan. And this is the advantage of TOT over others. Now, the teaching has changed dramatically in the last decade. Now we are uh, having what is called the flipped classroom. That is why in the group in WhatsApp and Telegram, I did put uh, to you uh, what is called the, like homework. You need to study, and when you need to study here, you need about how to do lower limb duplex scan and we are here we are in the in the meeting that we are discussing how to do it tips and tricks uh, how difficult how easy it is how to deal with the machine and after that we will leave one week for this one week you will be able to read more read a lot of books now we have a cloud that have around one gigabytes of vascular duplex uh, books and vascular video and people who are enrolled in the course will have one figure of information to be entertained and to um, to have this course so this is called the flip the classroom technique which we will use obviously this course is due to a great effort from dr mahmoud salah from dr iman and from dr Mohammed ahmed he is the vascular art team which are very much enthusiastic about pushing the uh, teaching of vascular duplex. 
Our resources, all the one gigabyte, is in cloud drive called Rakuten drive. And this is a Japanese drive. You leave it charged, you will have one gigabyte of uh, teaching material for you to help. Let us hear this video. I think it's a nice video. We all have seen it in our practice. This video explains that a young doctor, you see a patient, you want to do a duplex scan on his vein, his arteries, to do puncture, but you can't do it. Um, it's okay. Anyway, I will put the video uh, later on. We'll put the video later on. This video speaks about a, a doctor, young doctor, eager to do duplex scan to a patient, but he cannot do it. He asks for superior advice. He comes late, and then he will not help him to do duplex scan. So my aim is through the internet to let you know how to do duplex scan just over the internet without attending on site. Now, the, this is the course introduction. You need to understand the basic ultrasound, perform a basic arterial venous duplex scan, to be able to report the duplex scan and to, to be able to do duplex assisted procedure. I'm sure duplex is a vital part of the skills that you're able to grasp because you will need it uh, a lot in the future with duplex scans, advanced programming, you will use it in your practice. What you need to know. Uh, you need to know the basics of ultrasound, which I will explain quickly. I wouldn't go much into detail. We know how to deal with the machine, duplex scan, and our three candidates today will be able to see a machine they haven't seen before, see the bottom, and work on it. And how to interpret duplex image, and then how to report the duplex image. Now, the basic ultrasound is a form of mechanical energy transmitted through media. And there is what is called the probe. The probe that you see here is formed of a small crystal which sends the signal and reflected on the tissues. This is the basic idea. And you must know that air is the enemy of ultrasound. This is the audible sound. You can see that it is the um, industrial ultrasound is between 20 uh, kilohertz to one uh, megahertz. And this is the frequency that we are using. Now they are using a lot of higher frequency, which can be used in scoping pseudoaneurysm. So not only you diagnose the patient, but you can treat the patient as well. And here is the audible sound, what you sound in English. Now here is the propagation velocity. Uh, that is why we put gel, because the velocity of this ultrasound does not go through air. If you see here, air, is the enemy of ultrasound. So you must have a good contact with the skin and you must have plenty of gel. What is A mode? A mode was in the past just you send a signal from the probe, it comes a signal and you get a dot. Now there is a B mode and B mode will be used clearly where you get a reflection of this signal with the intensity, how intense it was, how bright it was. So if you get the probe like this in multiple area, you can have a picture of an organ. This is a liver, which was done by ultrasound, and this picture was taken in 1945. You can imagine. I will show you now how you can see the liver with the new uh, beautiful machine. But this is called B mode, which we'll be using a lot. It's called the B mode. Now, M mode has been used by cardiologists for the valve. If you want to know if there is valve incompetence or stenosis, you need M mode and will not use M mode in our duplex uh, course. What is the probe? The probe, as we said, is crystals which have multiple signals, uh, receiver and sender, and you get multiple array of information. And this has been developed dramatically. Now we get really very good images. This is called the harmonic processing. You don't need to know that, but this is just a purification of the signal. Now, the, the thing which makes vascular surgeon doesn't want to do duplex is this, is nobology. When you look into machine, having all this button, come on, how I'm going to do that? And this is where you break. Now, this technology is coming much, much simpler, and each button have a certain purpose. So don't be worried if you see machine with all this button. This is called nobology, and we will teach. 
how to use an introducer, what is the introducer, this kind of an art. I will show you the hot stick introducer for digital art, one of the very recent introducers that has been used. Uh, these are the transducer. You get the frequency and the size of the transducer. It's been uh, quite expensive. Um, it can go up to 300,000 Egyptian pounds. So it's very expensive to let the cord to go to the floor. And mostly does not cover by warranty if it got damaged. So it's very important when you deal with duplicate machine to take care of the probe with the proper handling. So this is a duplex machine. This is where you put. Don't let the wires uh, come dangling like this. I usually put it uh, around my body. I will show you how. And don't let the uh, uh, these cable to be kinked like this, uh, because this will uh, will be difficult for you to follow. Uh, don't run, of course, because these are wheel uh, duplex scan. But the, you will see the recent duplex scan is just it can be your mobile and it can be your iPad. It doesn't need to have all this big machine and don't let it be crumbled like this. We are using Logic P8, which is a very nice machine. There is always a button called the preset. Preset is an easy button that will give you. If you want to do arterial, preset arterial. Venus, preset and Venus. And this is what we're going to do today, which will be the Venus. There is always an important button called freeze. When you want to stop the image, write what you want to on it. And then you put it in the patient report. And usually it is uh, either the right freeze or uh, abbreviation FRZ or green color. And you will uh, detect this button quickly. Measurement is very important to do measurement, uh, diameter of the vessel, uh, the, the peak systolic velocity, all this measurement. I will show you how it is being uh, done. This is the transducer frequency. Again, it goes between 2 to 3 megahertz for the abdomen, lower frequency, or it goes up to a very high frequency, like for the digital arteries, up to 12 and 15 megahertz uh, probes. This is the transducers, multiple transducers with multiple frequency. And this is the gain. If you want to improve the picture, you increase the gain. And again, I will show you the bottom to increase the gain. There is the time gain compensation bottom, which uh, in the new machine is not found anymore. But in the old machine, they look like this. And this, when you get more gray uh, B mode, uh, to be more um, uh, elaborate, more clear with this uh, TGC uh, bottoms. Now, what is a vascular lab? A vascular lab usually is a duplex machine, but you also have other tools like the uh, segmental pressure reading, like the transcutaneous oxygen and photoprocessmography. But to be honest, the duplex scan is the main uh, tool that you will need in your vascular practice. You not only diagnose the problem, DVT, you can actually do endovenous ablation, so it can be therapeutic. You can do treatment of pseudoaneurysm by pressure, so it is a very versatile tool to vascular surgeon. And we hope that you start using the course now. Just after this lecture, you will start doing duplex scan on a real patient and with the real duplex machine with the three. I will show you how it is simple to do this. These are the other modalities, the transcutaneous oxygen tension, not very common. And this is the segmental, uh, segmental Doppler pressure reading. And this is the image for the transcutaneous pressure reading. What is new in 2024? We have better images. We can uh, live stream the image into your mobile, so you don't need uh, the big uh, big machines anymore. You get better diagnosis. You got something called the red switch. You press on the bottom red switch. It will enhance everything. It enhances the uh, the Doppler signal, enhance the image, and enhance the color. So it is getting much easier. There is now a lot of therapeutic use. This is the machine that was. I think in 1940, this is a machine that we will be using today. You can see the difference, how it is dramatically easy for us to use. And this is the ultrasound technology. You don't need to go into detail of that, but all this to make it life simpler for you. Uh, and this is the development of ultrasound, how it have propagated into 3D and 4D and multi-planar acquisition. Again, you're not involved with as vascular 
hydrogen in the ultrasound technology. What you want to do is a practical application. Duplex for IVC filter. You can do duplex guided IVC filter. You don't need to take the patient to an angio suite to put an IVC filter. You just get the vein, you get the IVC, and you do the all deployment duplex guided. You can do duplex guided arterial um, cannulation. And now there is intervention, transradial, transarnal intervention. So you use the radial and ulnar artery of the same hand for um, CTO occlusion of the peripheral vessel. So this is important. Duplex guided arterial intervention. Again, you can do SCP intervention without with zero angiogram, totally with duplex. Duplex guided endovenous. If you book a patient for endovenous laser, you don't need to wait for a radiographer to do the duplex for you. Duplex guided caster uh, replacement. Now, you should be uh, do uh, CVP caster, swung down the caster, all duplex guided. You're not allowed, if you are in UK or United States, to do puncture, femoral puncture without duplex guided. It's routine. So you must use it to avoid complication. Again, duplex guided compression to the end. So you can see how much practical. Uh, this is a video, uh, a video about how to do. Uh, IVC uh, um, IVC deployment. Um, I will put it on the cloud uh, again. And here is the, the paper for the trans abdominal duplex arthroscopy for the IVC deployment. So you see, it's the use of the machine while the patient is on. And this is about regulation. And this is a video about how to do a duplex guided intervention. Uh, this is the duplex machine. And it gives you a beautiful picture uh, with the anatomy and even normalization peak systolic velocity is more accurate than angiogram. Okay, this is how you do the puncture. And this is the basic information that I want you to do about ultrasound. Okay, so we'll go to the second part of the course, which how to do venous duplex scan. So I will go to the second part. So the second lecture. I will teach over the next 30 minutes how uh, my dears, Dr. Mustafa, Dr. Muhammad, and uh, Dr. Mina, to do a venous uh, lower limb duplex scan. Okay? So it will take only uh, 30 minutes. I will put you the basics of duplex scan. I hope my voice is reaching you uh, all and the picture is reaching you all. So we have a patient. We will take history from him, which is very important. The patient complain of pain in the right calf muscle. And this pain has been there for five days. And he has multiple DVT on the left leg. He came to you to, the, to your clinic asking that he is worried that it might be a DVT. How we can help him? Lower limb venous duplex scan. It's essential vascular skills. Please, all vascular surgeons hearing me, start your duplex scan. And here in vascular art, we offer you a service. If you have a patient, you want to do duplex scan, bring the patient to the unit. We will have supervision. You can do the duplex scan and you can earn money and learn on the way to do that. So this is an excellent service. After finishing the course, having your certificate, let us start your practice. And it's an open field. It, you can treat patient uh, with your duplex, and you will need it in all your function. And it will increase your surgeon income. As a vascular surgeon, you will have fees for using duplex. It will make your life easier, and it is very easy uh, to learn. Venus anatomy, I did put you the chapter a uh, few days ago. So this is the venous anatomy. Very important for you to know that the superficial femoral vein is now called the femoral vein. Because if you have uh, thrombosis in the superficial femoral vein, we don't want it to be uh, the clinician thinks that this is superficial thrombophlebitis. 
because this is a DVT. So now the name have it changed it from superficial femoral vein into femoral vein. So you have common femoral vein, femoral vein, and this is the venous anatomy. Easy, doesn't take much, and you can do it. And this is from the front, and you need to know the muscles, uh, the gastrocnemius veins, and the soleus veins. Both of them are very important for tough vein thrombosis. And also pedal arch veins is very important, especially with deep venous arterialization. So this is the anatomy. You must know the anatomy before doing duplex scan. Superficial anatomy, you must know how to get the um, great saphenous vein, how to know saphenofemoral junction, and how to know if it is competent or not incompetent, and you get the tributary veins, perforating veins, the communicating veins. So you need to read the chapter about the anatomy. Now this is called duplex anatomy, which uh, I will uh, I already uploaded a book about duplex anatomy, and this is it will show you how the anatomy relation between artery and vein. This is the common femoral artery, this is the common iliac artery, and common iliac vein, and this is the superficial femoral artery, this is the deep femoral artery profunda, and this is the common femoral vein. So this. It's a very nice book that will tell you the duplex anatomy. And you will see it yourself. Again, duplex anatomy for normal vein, partially thrombosed vein, and the totally thrombosed vein, how they look like in duplex scan. So, common indication. As I said, this patient have doubt that he might have a DVT, pain in the cuff muscle. You can get patient venous ulcer, you can get visible varicose vein, pain, edema, and this is very common indication you will see in the clinic. So we know the indication, and we are the one which actually do the referral to go for radiologist. No need to do that, but you can, on this indication, start doing doublets, which we will do over the next hour. Uh, contraindication and the limitation. Really, really, some people say, oh, see, I, I don't think really you can do with a lot of these patients. If you have an open ulcer, again, you can clean the ulcer, put oxide, and still can do doublets. Severe edema, not really contraindication, but you might say this is a relative contraindication. But you can do doublets scan to 99% of your patients. Now, doublets guidelines. It's very important for you to introduce yourself to the patient. You must explain the examination. I am Dr. Flan. I will do uh, over the next 20 minutes a scan for your leg. It wouldn't be painful, and I want to get the information, and it wouldn't hurt you. Uh, this is very important. Again, if this patient was referred from someone else, don't be involved in the treatment option. And this is very important because usually the patient tell you, what is my treatment, doctor? If this was referred to from someone else, I wouldn't tell him you need endovenous laser or endovenous laser frequency. I will leave decision to the clinician. But if he's your patient, you are allowed to tell him, I think a better treatment is this. So number one, introduce yourself and take history. Number two, you do a quick assessment to the patient. You see if he is having um, a, a dyspnea, he's having a heart failure, he's unable to sit down, and so on. Number three is duplex position. You can do it either standing or sitting. Uh, the main idea is to do reverse Trendelenburg to get the uh, veins being filled while you are doing duplex machine. You can do it standing if the patient doesn't, uh, doesn't bother, but some people, for example, after the cesarean section, unable to stand up, or uh, someone with severe osteoarthritis, he cannot stand up. So you can do standing if possible. So pine reverse Trendelenburg, and you usually put the knee flexion and uh, a slight external rotation. This is the optimal position to do the venous duplex scan. Number four, venous technique. You must use two probes, linear probe and abdominal probe. Linear probe from groin down and uh, use a transverse plane to do compression. And you can use longitudinal plane. And we will show this on the patient uh, over the next session. Now, uh, vein compression every one centimeter, sometimes every two centimeter, not necessarily one. By vein compression, you can exclude thrombosis. Um, you have linear transducer, and you have the transverse section and longitudinal section that you can use. The abdominal probe, 
which between 2 to 3 megahertz, we will show you in this machine is used for the common iliac vein and to show uh, the zenith thrombosis or uh, IVC inferior vena cava. And you must detect if there is thrombosis or not. Now, what I want you to know from any vein is to do transverse section, longitudinal section using B mode. And this is to see if the vein have a thrombus or not. Then you see the Doppler signal in the vein by longitudinal section. And then you do a compression test. So this is what you need to do to every signal. Now, for every vein, this is the information you ask yourself. Is this vein patent or is it occluded? What is the diameter? Is it giant or is it small? Is it refluxing or not? And what is the wall abnormality? Does it have a previous changes from previous DVT? What is the Doppler waveform and the thrombus? So this is the voice OK? Yeah, OK. So and the thrombus exists. So this is the information, number six, that you want to know. So I will ask Dr. Mustafa, Dr. Mohammed, what, what do you think of this vein? Is it patent? And uh, this is the first time they will do duplex, but I know from their skills, they will get a very good information. Now, there are two schemes to do duplex scan to vein. Either groin to ankle protocol, which you start from the groin, and then common femoral vein, you go to superficial femoral vein, the great sufferers vein side, then thigh perforator, great sufferers vein leg. It's 19 vein, and I enumerated him, and all this lecture is also found in the course, so you don't need to write it down. Uh, it is being uploaded in the cloud. Uh, so this is the 19 places that you need to check with duplex scan. So you can imagine if you take one minute every vein, you need 19 minutes to finish all of them. Some people will do ankle to groin protocol, and it is recognized, and some people do it. So they start at the ankle. So you have the choice. I prefer, or my recommendation, do groin to ankle protocol. And after you finish the ankle, go to common iliac, um, external, uh, external iliac, and IVC at the end. But this is the same 19 places, but on the other way around, which is called ankle to, uh, ankle to groin protocol. Now, Doppler finding. Sometimes you can see normal variation, normal velocities that we are going to see. Sometimes you see abnormal waveform. Sometimes you see thrombosis. You see multiple things that you can report on. But these are the basic things that I want you to show. I wanted also to show you how you can use artificial intelligence uh, during your work. So if we shift to artificial intelligence, Hope uh, we can share desktop. Okay. So this is artificial intelligence. Now, artificial intelligence very helpful for you while you are studying uh, and while you are working for Venus. Let us, for example, say what are the best books to read in learning. Vascular duplex ultrasound from recent sources. I put this question to Gemini, and Gemini is uh, the preferred um, uh, uh, artificial intelligence platform uh, by Google. Uh, I recommend you to use it for medicine and for vascular surgery. And you can see. Uh, this is the uh, recent, which is called Gemini Advanced. Uh, very few computers have this. Again, number one, Rutherford textbook. Um, it it has a good chapter about duplex scan. Ultrasound uh, um, Understanding Vascular Ultrasound by Stephen Giffith. Uh, this is book, uh, which is on Amazon. Very nice book. General and Vascular Ultrasound Case. And uh, you see the answer. It will give you the best books right away within a few seconds. Um, I've, I've uploaded 10 vascular duplex books for you to learn from, and this is how you can use it. Here is also important the question. Um, how much time do I need as a vascular 
recursion to learn about duplex scan from reliable sources. You can see Gemini have all the all the medical knowledge. So uh, when I say from uh, reliable sources, I, I constrain him to uh, evidence-based medicine. So here he must he mentions that a lot of factor affecting this. What is your previous knowledge? Because we are vascular surgeon, we have very good knowledge about veins. Usually it's not accurate to give you exact time. But you will say that you need to have the basic knowledge, sometime advanced uh, knowledge, and this will take time. So my recommendation to go to structure training. Uh, but there is a lot of literature that you can teach a vascular surgeon to do duplex scan within one week. In one week, you will be able to do the basic fundamental of duplex scan. Um, so duplex um, uh, again is very helpful when you want to study. Let us say create an MCQ question on vascular duplex scan and mention the correct answer. If you want to study, um, you can tell him create MCQ question uh, and from its bank, you can see it in front of the eyes. Here is a question, patient presented with symptom lower limb lubrication, perform duplex ultrasound, what is the answer? And you can see the correct answer will bring it to you. So if you want to study, you can study using artificial intelligence. It helps you a lot of vascular duplex scan. Um, and I have a lecture about robotic vascular duplex uh, uh, machine, which again, very helpful. I wanted to show you that artificial intelligence is a helpful tool. So I wouldn't go much. I think I've took um, now roughly 30 minutes, which is good because I want the workshop to be more on actual working on the patient. Uh, I wanted to show you that you don't need much preparation before doing duplex. Don't get afraid of the machine. So we are going after five minutes to bring the patient to run the duplex machine and to take it from there. We are very much open to question. Uh, if you want to put a question on the chat, we're using Google Meet, which doesn't have any uh, lifetime frame. So if you have any question, please put the question. And I can see Professor uh, Mahmoud Salah is watching us from Saudi Arabia. Uh, we're delighted. Uh, uh, to have you, Professor Mahmoud Salah, uh, will hope to uh, encourage a lot of young vascular surgeons uh, to learn how to do duplex scan. And uh, the mic to you, I hope you can uh, speak to uh, all the vascular colleagues. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mohammed, for this uh, 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 very nice uh, uh, talk. Uh, first, uh, I would like to welcome uh, all uh, our attendees, whether uh, physical or uh, those attending online. Uh, uh, let me just introduce uh, the idea of vascular art. Uh, uh, vascular art uh, is not a center that we are competing with other uh, centers. Actually, the principle is to cooperate and not to compete. So you will uh, find it a little bit uh, strange center that uh, than you are used uh, to see. Okay. Uh, uh, number two, that we are we feel responsibility not only for our patients but for our doctors. That's why you are all invited here uh, for the, our first uh, course. Uh, third, that we uh, uh, were lucky to have uh, Dr. Muhammad Omar Al Farouk uh, as our uh, TOT uh, uh, director. He is having this passion of uh, teaching. And uh, uh, by the way, I am older than uh, Dr. Muhammad Omar Al Farouk, and I'm practicing vascular surgery before him, but I am learning from him. I am learning from him and I'm enjoying uh, uh, 
يعني uh, talking to him and discussing any case with him. So you are lucky to have him. Uh, 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 final that I uh, I challenge that you will find any center in the world will invite you to please bring your patient here and use our venous duplex uh, on your patient and use uh, our consultant as supervision uh, and get your money. N nobody on earth will uh, tell you this. Either you refer the patient to us and we'll do the duplex, we'll give you the result, we'll take the money. Or you can take uh, the patient and do it uh, anywhere else. Nobody will give you the offer that you heard from Dr. Muhammad Omar al Farouk. So I am uh, very happy. I don't want to take the much time from your course. And uh, I'm happy that uh, uh, I'm attending this course. Uh, this is our first uh, course here. Uh, hopefully, inshallah, will be uh, followed by many uh, courses. And uh, by the way, we are open to any idea. If anybody would like to suggest special course, we can arrange this. And uh, finally, you are all welcome to Vascular Art Center anytime. Thank you very much, Dr. Omar. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, my dear Professor Mahmoud Salah. I always learn from you a lot. Uh, I've never forget your your uh, presentation about reimplantation of the upper limb of patients in Saudi Arabia. That you done three cases, which was amazing and your bilateral carotid body tumor, the heroic operation that you have done, uh, which was fantastic. And uh, I learned it a lot from you. I can't learn from your courage and your honesty, and uh, we all uh, owe you a lot, really, Professor Ahmed. And I'm hoping to have a course to pass MRCS uh, exam, inshallah, to help our candidate to do that because we have uh, around 2,000 go for MRCS Part B, and the failure rate is very high. And hopefully we'll do another course uh, how to learn artificial intelligence, because artificial intelligence is not going to, uh, to take our job, but vascular surgeon who does not use artificial uh, intelligence are the one which will be out of business. So I'm um, giving course for artificial intelligence using Python coding, and to have a programming to uh, detect the COVID on a chest X-ray and to, take, uh, to detect the endo leak on a CT angiogram. I'm also going to uh, have multiple courses with the new tools like the 3D scheme printing that you have done multiple cases, I believe, and we hope to benefit from your experience. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mohammed. Again, Allah, yeah, uh, you are uh, very generous, uh, giving uh, all your uh, uh, science, your experience, your information uh, to the others. And uh, I will be glad to participate in the, uh, any course, especially this for the Part B uh, MRCS. You know, I'm also examiner in the uh, Royal College of Surgeons, so I... Uh, I know exactly why uh, our candidates fail in the part B. So I'll be happy to uh, to uh, assist and to help. Uh, also, as I said, uh, uh, I know that many of our candidates, they are not very uh, professional in uh, reading the CT angio or the MR angio. So we can even uh, put this into consideration if you'd like to arrange something like that. You are the boss for the TOT, and uh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, Professor uh, Mahmoud Salah. And uh, let me uh, start. Uh, after five minutes, we're going to get a patient. Uh, you can have a nice cup of tea and a nice bit of refreshing before we go to the practical part of the workshop how a vascular surgeon have not done a duplex scan before will do it exquisitely good with supervision over the few cases and then we'll get certificate and then we'll start their practice with the vascular duplex scan.
So see you uh, all after uh, five minutes of refreshment.